I found a pool coach that's willing to coach me and teach me everything that he knows. And I found him in a very, very particular way. So, I don't know if you haven't seen my previous video of me taking my daughter to her first tournament, which was the TAP tournament here in, at the Orleans in Las Vegas, Nevada. I walked down there, well, you know what, let's back up. Before that, I don't know if you saw a video of my new, uh, APA Week 9 match, where I, I just got crushed and I was really, really fr frustrated because I shoot good one week and I shoot bad the other. And I had, when I shoot bad, I can't figure out why I am missing so badly and my speed is way off. So, you know what, I decided at that time, after I got my butt whooped, I decided to take pool very, very seriously because when I do something, I want to do it very, very well. And pool, I love pool. I've always loved pool. Love a pool is a passion of mine and I want to get better and everything is self-taught. I never had anybody teach me how to shoot pool. My father showed me a little bit and I learned everything on my own by watching others play, watching on TV, watching on the internet, YouTube. And uh, I started learning that way. And now I got to the point where I'm not too bad, but I know I could be a lot, lot better. And I want to see how the professionals, what they see, what they know, what they're thinking. Because whatever your mind thinks about is going to control what your body does. So I want to get, I want to get better. I want to know how they think. And you know what? I have a story where I took my daughter to a, a couple of days after that nine, ninth week video, I took my daughter to her first uh, uh, pool tournament to give her the experience. And you can see that video if you haven't seen it already uh, in the back, uh, I don't know, maybe two, three videos before this one, or maybe four or so. But I took my daughter to the pool tournament and I walked by, I, the first person that I walked by there was a guy by the name of Dirty Mike. They call him, uh, uh, they call him Little Mike, but they call him Dirty Mike. It's not because she, he's a dirty pool player or anything. It's because he's from Florida and there's a lot of Mikes from Florida. So they call him Dirty Mike because uh, it's the dirty south of Florida. That's what they're known as. So he's known as Dirty Mike for being from the south. And I walked by him. I saw this guy about a month, a month and a half ago at a Masters, APA Masters tournament. And I went to see my stepdaughter, Rita. She, her boyfriend plays in that league. So I went over there, they invited me to go play it, but I, I just can't do it on Sunday because I, I need to, I'm, I'm spending time with my daughter and nothing's gonna get in the way of that. So I went over there and saw him and I said, when I walked in there, I was looking around, those, these are some that the best pool players in Las Vegas on the, in the Masters. So I walked in there and I'm looking around and I asked Justin, my uh, stepdaughter's boyfriend, who's the best player in here? He looks up and he goes, Dirty Mike. So I watched him shoot uh, a, few, a few there and I'll tell you what, this guy makes the ball dance. He controls this cue ball as, as some of the best of them. And he's a one-pocket player. You can tell right away that he's a one-pocket player because just the way that he shoots. And uh, he is just, he's the one, best one-pocket player that I know, that I, that I can see. I, I stepped back, this is about a week after the tournament, and I, I went and met him at Q Club, and where that, that's, that's his home, his uh, pool home, and uh, pool hall. And uh, I... Watched him play one pocket with some really good players and he just, he has to spot everybody. A lot of, he got to make 12 balls before somebody else makes four. I mean, that's just big time spotting on one, on one, uh, for one game. And you know what? He just whips them off. I mean, he's just, he's pretty, inter he's pretty interesting, pretty fascinating. He's a great pool shooter. So, uh, I met him when I took my daughter to the tournament. He told me, I, we clicked off like that right away. He is a great guy. Uh, my daughter met him and he, my daughter loves him as well. He just thinks he's, he's the best thing because uh, he, 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 has, he has a good personality and he played around with my daughter and my daughter just 
lovely. And he also showed my daughter a little bit. You'll see in this video later that he was training my daughter a little bit, and which was very, very nice. Especially when he's so busy winning all these, all these matches that he took time to, you know, just show my daughter some stuff, which is really, really cool. Thanks, Mike. So I met him there. We hit it right off, right off, and I told him what I did. I had a YouTube vlog. I told him about my game and how frustrated I was. So he agreed to train me. So when I saw Mike at the tournament, I'm like, what are you playing? You know, I'm playing, he goes, I'm playing the single uh, eight ball, eight ball tournament. I said, you know what? You, this is my guy, you're gonna win. And I told him that, and he knows that too to this day. I picked him. So what I did is I started following him around, vlogging him and vlogging his matches. Of course, I gotta ask for permission that they're okay, their opponents, and nobody ever says no. Uh, to me, video then playing pool, which is which is a great thing. Thank you very much for, to everybody. And I followed them. I recorded every single one of his matches. And I think there was one, two, three, four. There was, there was like nine or ten total uh, of him. And he won every single one. And the way he went, it was so cool. You, you really got to watch it. I'm going to show you these videos. And you know what? I followed them all the way, and he went all the way. He made it all the way. I knew, I just knew that he was going to win. And after he won, you know what he agreed? He's going to start training me. He says he has this special aiming technique that he wants to show everybody that he came up with. He showed me a little bit of it this week. I've been training with him a couple of times already. And you can come back and see the, those videos. He has this aiming system called splitting the difference that he calls it. That he came up with himself, which I went on YouTube. Nobody shows it this way. It's, it makes it so simple, but it's very, very different from what, how I've been aiming. And my aiming is a feel, I sometimes I have good days, sometimes I have bad days, and I can tell you his aiming is on target all the time. There's no guesswork about you got to hit this cue ball over here, uh, over here, and you got to hit it on this side. There's no, get, there's no guesswork. It is totally awesome. I'm going to post that, and you guys should come back and take a look at that. I want you to take a look at the video and watch, and I'm going to talk a little bit through it. So it, this is a really, really good video for people that are, really, that are really, really into pool and they would really, really appreciate how he shoots and his game. So please watch the videos and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the story as we walk through it, all right? Let's go. Hit balls, you know what I mean? I wanna hit balls. I wanna hit balls night and day, 24, 26 hours a day I wanna hit balls. 380 days a year. You know? 365? Or you want more. 380 days you a year. want more. You want more. Yeah. Just like, just like, forever ain't long enough. I want forever in a day. You Say hi, Mike. Keep What's up? That's what I want. So this is Mike back in 2005 at a tournament in. I don't know exactly where it's at. But uh, he was playing Sean Putnam, and at, in 2005, he was the number one in the world. Anyhow, this guy, he, he, looks, he looks pretty rock solid, too. Yeah, it looks, looks real good. You know, he's real patient at the table. That's, a, that, that's where, where his, his big uh, asset is. You know, he fades into the shot real nice and soft and uh, nice, loose, uh, flowing stroke. Yeah, this guy could Ends get the cash. That. Yeah, it could get the cheese on Bubba the Love Sponge. Mm -hmm. Who was your last match that you just won against, Chris? Uh, you know, this guy, he's a German player, <laughs> and the name's so confusing. Some some 20-letter deal will ski at the end of it, but he just he beat Mika and beat Corey, and he beat wow. a couple other great players, so the guy can play. But uh, enough about me. How about how about this guy getting the cash? Yeah, this little Mike Davino, he's playing solid. Yeah. Don't know how he didn't get into the pro event. Right. Probably trying to be a sleeper. Meanwhile, yeah. now he got this on DVD, so yeah. it's going to be tough to hide his game. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna push it out all over the place. Word will be out. Might see if uh, might charge Mike to uh -oh. Uh, uh -oh. basically not air this. So doesn't kill his action. A little quick into this one. This turns into a mistake. Yeah. There it is. This guy, this guy. All right, little Mike Davino yeah, takes on the number one in the world, Sean Bubba the Love Sponge. Yeah. 
So got major up. upset here. Sean's not going to be happy because he's going to have to buy a lot of the pros dinner. Yeah, got up there and played a solid set there. Played real solid, especially under the heat. A lot of times it's hard to close out a set on a number one player, but little Mike Devino held on and took down the number one. Yep, Once yep. again, we'd like to thank you for being here at WorldPool.com, and we'll see you again next year. Bye, everybody. Now this match was one of his first earlier matches and I'm just going to show you this shot. This one shot won it from this guy was really really good that he was playing. And this shot he was hooked. Look at that. Nice. Nice shot. That was it right there. He missed that one. The other guy wins. I believe they were at Hill Hill and they were shooting the next next match uh, next game wins. So that was the shot. That was the pressure shot. This one was one of his round robins and earlier, like the second match, and uh, he handled this guy fairly easy as well. Uh, he plays his game, his safety. I want to learn it. I mean, look at that control to be able to put it behind that ball. And once you lock up, once he locks you up, you you give him the ball back. It's game over. You give him the ball in hand, he doesn't miss. Yep, and that's game. This game was also one of the round robins that he had in the beginning. He took care of this one fairly easy. I think he won 5-1.
Gold minutes, add facts, and add tins to table 16. And he still had the time in between the matches to be able to show my daughter a few things. That was really cool. My daughter really likes him. Now this match right here, this guy's really, really good. This is a great match. I have this video prior, so you should, the pool lovers, you gotta check out this video. They played one hell of a match. And this, in this game is where he, he tested, Dirty Mike was tested. And uh, he had to pull out his one pocket skills. And which, once he pulls out his one pocket skill, nobody can really hang with him. Please watch this video. This is a good video. That was a good match. Now this game right here, he played again uh, against a guy, Brad. This Brad guy is a really, really pull, good pull shooter. However, that day, he that this game, he his back started hurting, so he was a little bit off. And you're going to hear him talk about it fairly soon here. And you're chasing it with what? That's the way to do it, man. And you know what? When you lose, it doesn't I, I, hurt as bad. I couldn't even stand up over there. I had, to, I had to put my stick down and use the table to stand up. That's how it was hurt. And you know what? That numbs everything, including your, your loss. 
I, I watch I watch you shoot. I, I shot watch you shoot earlier. Oh yeah, I know. I know. Something I mean, on the break. It doesn't hurt that bad, but it's not kind of loopy. Yeah, it's. As long as I it gives me one more chance. It's so long. Yeah, I, I, one more chance. I, I watched you the last match. You were. Yeah, this one, this, I know it's alcohol medication. Well, I know it. It's, it's the medication. It's the medication. Yeah. It has to be the reason. I, oh, that's all I see. Yeah, I play a lot better muscle. I, oh, yeah. I saw it. <laughs> you should have seen his last match. His last match was one of the best matches I've seen. He had like 29 paces. It was ridiculous. Really? Yeah. He, he was doing, he was doing like one, he was doing one pocket. He couldn't make any break the first three really? legs. He started doing one pocket. Two ball over there. He started doing one pocket first. He couldn't make anything on the break. And he knew he could play the other way. Nice shot, Mike. Now this match, this guy's from Dallas, Texas. Mike took care of him very, very quickly. Uh, I think Mike won this one 5-0. And again, you give Mike a, a chance, it's game over. You will never see the light of day. Come on, come on. Now this is the final match, and I have this on video as well. Please go check it out. I actually have the last few on video, including the last one, where he won 5-0. Now this one, we were, I was, we were all tired. We were, we were there late. This, 
This didn't end till about 2.30. This was a long match. This was a great one. Uh, he was down. Uh, little Mike was down 2-0. Actually, no. He, he, he was down 4-2. to two, And uh, he had to come back to win the next three. And you got to see the video because this is one, also one of the best matches I've seen in a while. He pulled out his one pocket skills and he made this game this was a long game he played some good safeties i mean some ridiculous safeties this shot right here this is it look at this look at this shot with the look at this the shot and the setup I stayed with Mike all the way through the whole time and filmed him, and uh, he he pulled it out. This is my new coach. So that's Dirty Mike. What do you think? Do me a favor. Leave some comments down below. Let me know that you know what you guys are thinking the video. You know, give me some if it's good or bad. If it's something bad, let me know so I can fix it and make it better for the next videos. If you like it, let me know. You know, it keeps me motivated. All right, guys, come back, watch me training, because I guarantee you, I'm gonna get a lot better. It's about to happen. Goodbye, guys.